Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about 10 plus tips and tricks that you can use in Grand Theft Auto Online that I think are pretty interesting and also pretty helpful. So the first thing we're going to jump into today is regards to the brand new Grand Theft Auto Online vehicle that was just added a couple days ago, the RM10 Bambushka, this massive $6 million plane. And it actually has a pretty funny Easter egg. So I'm pretty sure it's based off of a Russian Cold War bomber and because it's based off of that it has this really funny I guess texture that can be found underneath one of the seats now the only way to find this is if you're digging through the files so Rockstar have kind of put this for like the Easter egg hunters in the game it's pretty funny so this is what it says right here. It says, in Soviet Russia, seat ejects you. So I think that was pretty funny, and that would have been a great feature of this plane if there was like an ejector seat in the Bambushka, especially given the fact that it isn't all that great armor-wise, and one rocket will end up taking it out. So for example, if you see a rocket coming your way, you could hit an ejector seat and get out of there. I think that would be pretty cool, but I think that's pretty funny. Um, I'll leave a link, or at least I'll try to, to like the full-size photo in the description. It's pretty tiny, though, but I thought that was pretty awesome. A nice little Easter egg reference right there from Rockstar in the brand new vehicle, the RM10 Bambushka. All right, speaking about the fact that the Bambushka doesn't have all that great armor or it doesn't have all that great speed, there's actually one way in which you can get around this. So we talked about this feature in my video the other day, one of the forgotten features. Well, you can actually use the flying formation with the Bambushka in order to increase its speed and to increase its health. So let's talk about how that works. So you or your friend is going to need to start a flying formation and then your friend is going to need to be in a faster jet. So this could be a Mallard, it could be a Molotov, it could be a Hydra. Then what you're going to want to have them do is lead the flying formation and you follow behind in the Bambushka. Now what this is gonna do once the formation is activated, it's going to allow you to match the speed of the jet in front of you. So for example, I'm now traveling as fast as this Mallard stunt plane that my friend is using in front of me, which you can tell just by looking at the map and looking how fast we're going, this is way faster than the Bambushka should ever be traveling. And because you get health regeneration bonus inside the formation, if you're hit with something like a homing missile or someone shooting at you with a buzzard or you get hit with a couple rounds or something like that, you'll instantly start to heal once you're inside the formation itself, which is pretty cool. Now, the only thing about this is sometimes you can get lost in the formation. So, for example, if you the plane in front of you goes too fast, uh, you'll actually fall out of the formation, so you have to go back inside of it. So, it is a little bit tricky to stay totally inside the formation, but it does help with speed because the Bambushka is one of the slowest vehicles of all time. And it also helps with health, too, because this thing is basically just a walking tissue paper. One RPG ends up destroying it. So, that's pretty cool, and I thought that's a great way in which you can basically increase the lifespan and health of the new Bambushka. All right, moving on. Did you know that you can now call in six separate helicopters simultaneously just in case you decide you need them? So what I'm going to do is show you guys this photo right here. This is from a user arms dealer on the Grand Theft Auto 5 Reddit. And I thought you could only call in a maximum of three, but it turns in that now you can call in six separate helicopters at once. Not exactly sure why you would ever need something like this, but I still think this is pretty interesting. So have you guys guessed at what sort of uh, you know businesses or things you need in order to get all six? Well, this is what they are. A CEO helicopter, a personal vehicle helicopter, a Pegasus helicopter, yacht helicopter, Meriwether requested helicopter, and CEO luxury requested helicopter. So that is all six right there. Just look at the mini map. Look how insane that that looks to see all those different helicopters right there. I thought that's pretty awesome. Uh, again, we talked about this trick like a couple days after Smuggler's Run came out where I thought it was impressive that you could have three helicopters out at once, but the fact that you can have way more than that, in fact, you can have six is pretty incredible too. So I'm not sure in whatever situ situation you'd ever need six helicopters, but I did think that was pretty awesome. All right, moving on. Have you ever wondered how the Bambushka actually fits inside of the hangars? Me too. 
and it doesn't seem to make all that much sense. Take a look at this photo right here. It's pretty clear that the size of the bambushka is way bigger than the hangers, or at least some of them, and they don't actually fit inside. So this begs the question, why can't we have other vehicles in the game? It's pretty clear that Rockstar doesn't care all that much about the logistics of a vehicle or a plane being smaller than the storage facility it has to go in. So why can't we have other locked vehicles? The cargo plane is the first one that jumps out to me. Why can't we have that in online when it's pretty clear Rockstar are adding bigger vehicles than their storage facilities can contain? We've seen glitches where even some of the more recent cars, like the Insurgent Custom and Technical Custom, they can be stored in garages, but some of the garages they literally can't fit inside. It breaks the cutscene animation. So I thought that that was pretty interesting, and this once again just encourages the fact that the cargo plane and other locked vehicles that Rockstar used to not allow should be allowed now in online. Now, something that might have been freaking a lot of people out, if you see this indicator right here or this screenshot that says you need 5,000 sourcing missions in order to unlock the trade price for the Bambushka, that is incorrect. So a couple days after Smuggler's Run came out, Rockstar actually updated the tunables and they made all the unreleased vehicles require 5,000 sale missions. The reason they did this is because they were accidentally leaking the vehicles that they were going to be adding because notifications would pop up on the screen saying, hey, you know, you've unlocked this unreleased vehicle when in reality it wasn't in the game. So it seems if they just forgot to change it for the Bambushka, so it should be returned to normal for now. If it's not normal for you, then what you want to do is probably reload your game or at a minimum get a new session but it should only require 24 sourcing missions in order to get the uh, trade price for the bumbushka it is definitely not 5,000 that is way too much Okay, up next, a lot of people have been asking me for some tips regarding Bambushka Run, the newest adversary mode, and I haven't seen a lot out there, and I'm not the best person to ask because I'm not the best pilot, uh, whether I'm flying the Buzzard or the Bambushka itself, but I did see this one tip, and I think this is a little bit of a scummy way to play like something like this, but if you want a great way to, I guess, protect yourself in the Bambushka, what you should do is land inside of the tubes, just like this. Now, if you land inside the tubes like this, what's gonna happen is a couple things. Number one, your guns are gonna be directly pointed in the direction where only the buzzards can hit you. And number two, the tubes are gonna protect you from incoming buzzard fire. So the only way they're gonna be able to get to you is through the two entrances. And like I said, if you're parked parallel, then the guns are gonna be facing in their exact direction, which is gonna make it very easy for you to take them out. So that to me is pretty interesting. Again, probably a scumbag way to play the game, but if you're interested in winning Bambushka Run and you're interested in taking advantage of the double GTA money and RP that is clearly going on right now, then this might be a good thing for you to do. All right, up next, something cool that was found by the GTA beta hunt thread, and you guys might remember this secret army character that has never made a physical appearance in GTA 5 or Grand Theft Auto Online, but appears on the Life Invader site, can be heard on the radio. His name is Alan McLean. He's a retired Marine. Uh, he's divorced. He has a book that's called Hitting Kids Works Wonders. He's opened a boot camp based on it, and he's basically just this crazy ex-Marine guy, and a lot of people thought he was gonna be our lead in the gun running update. That wasn't true, it turned out to be Agent 14, but Rockstar have made use for him in two missions, two sourcing missions. So there's one sourcing mission that actually has you to try and protect a Titan. I think it's horrible, so I never actually do it. It's probably one of the worst sourcing missions of all time, but he is actually the guy that is flying the Titan, which I think is pretty unique and pretty cool, as you can see in this screenshot right here. He's just sitting up in the front of the Titan, flying it, having himself a good time. So that's pretty interesting. And I'm not sure if this is a part of the same mission or not, but he can also be seen sitting in the back of the Titan too. So I'm not exactly sure what he's doing back here. Like I said, I have no idea if this is a separate mission or anything along those lines, but he can be seen in the front and the back. This is pretty cool. Again, this is a very, very secret character that never made a physical appearance in the game, but has been referenced many times and has been seen on Life Invader pages, so that right there, in my opinion, is pretty cool. Another thing that's pretty cool, if you want your character to stay in online without going AFK, well, it turns out the newest DLC, Smuggler's Run, has added a new method for you. So all you have to do is sit at your hangar office desk, 
and your character will stay there and will not go AFK even if you leave your controller. So the reason people would want to do this is obviously if they had to run outside for a bit or they were busy for a bit but didn't want to disconnect from the lobby, uh, more associated with the business uh, aspect of the game, being AFK but not leaving the lobby will allow your business to grow, continue to generate products so that you can eventually sell it. So this is actually very, very convenient. Another way in which you can do this is using the security camera at your bunker, but I feel like this is a little bit easier. You can just sit at your desk, at your hangar, and do absolutely nothing. So if you want to go AFK but stay in the lobby, that is a great way to do it. And finally, last but not least today, I'm not exactly sure what the heck was going on here, but it looks like we found another rare vehicle spawn location, this time for the Sand King. So you guys know the yellow and blue Sand Kings that you can sell? Well, it looks like this one spawned right outside my hangar. I have no idea how this happened. I don't know if this was a glitch or a bug, but I was basically just trying to get my bambushka inside my hangar, and then all of a sudden, I run across this bright blue, already upgraded Sand King just right there for the taking. So once again, I'm not sure if this is a glitch or a bug or anything like that, but maybe there's a new spawn location for rare vehicles like this. And if so, that's pretty cool because that would be incredibly easy right outside one of my places that I can spawn into the game. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this as I think that's pretty cool. Maybe we just discovered something awesome here, but I thought that that was awesome that a vehicle spawn happens right outside of our hangars. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm going to be talking about for you guys in this video today. 10 plus tips and tricks that you may not have known about in Grand Theft Auto Online regarding the new Bambushka and a whole lot more. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.